Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. We started off with a bit of a... Um, uh, you had to try and basically do a lob, lob wedge over a little board. And you, we did made a competition of it all. And I went out in the first round. I, I, I shanked the life out. Who won? Um, uh, Anthony Ford. Well done. Yeah, Anthony Ford did it. He was lovely. Um, so eventually you get closer and closer to this like wall and you've got to flop it over. Flop it over. Um, and it was him and Chompy in the final and Ford, he won it anyway. And the prize for winning, it was like um, a set of personalised wedges. <laughs> wow. I know. It was pretty cool. So Ford, he was absolutely Made by buzzing. Tiger, you know. Yeah, you know. So he was absolutely buzzing. Then we did like, um, we had um, a few different other challenges. And then like I say, it was just swing away. And then the boys got treated to a full set of irons as well. Like a full set of everything. Thing. I'm talking brand new tailor made P790s. We're talking all the all the irons, all the woods, all the putters, like the a brand new bag. Oh, um, so he was taking all the orders down from the lads, and that was a massive surprise. We were so happy with that. What yeah. a day! And they, I'll, I'll tell you as well, they bought they had this like burger company coming and set up a burger stand. What? <laughs> this burger is right up there, you know. Yeah, oh, right up there. One of the best I've had in a long time. It was phenomenal. Okay, so um, when the big sticks came out, the yeah. driver, yeah. There was one lad, so you put an Instagram story up, who, as you said, he doesn't play. Oh, he does play. He he's, does play. he's obviously played a bit before, Mate. but he, he must play. He His must play swing once every three months. His swing is ridiculous. Yeah. The speed, the club head speed is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Tell him what, t- who is it? So, and what did the Taylor May people so, say? So Tom O'Connor, um, I'll put an Instagram story out about this, actually. I'll put it on screen if you're watching so you can see this swing. It is just a thing of absolute beauty. It? it is It is so beautiful. So um, the the tailor-made guys straight away be like, ooh, that's a nice swing. And then you watch him hit it and he's hitting a high draw every single shot. And I what mean, kind of yardage are we talking? Oh, so he, he was carrying it 325, 330, <laughs> carrying it. I mean, every single time, high draw, oh. real high draw, right? The total was 350, 360. Every single time, right? So the the boys at Taylor May were like, let's just go and get the track man quickly, all right? We're just going to go get the track man so we can have a look at your your stats, your club head speed, ball speed, angle of this, angle of that. And they're looking at the data as he's doing it real time. And both of them were just sort of clapping him every single time going, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. His club head speed was 100 and... I think his club head speed was 185 pretty much every time, right? Which is on the top end of being a pro. So most of the well, pros, like tour pro. yeah, tour pro, tour tour pros. I think about 175 ish, 170. He was hitting 184, 85 every single time, and they were absolutely <laughs> creaming off him. Seriously, creaming off him. Are we going to see him on the golf in GK? <laughs> oh, we need to get him on the golf in GK. He's a beautiful player, absolutely beautiful. Remains to be seen what his short game's like. Don't get me wrong, but. If you're going to go off what his driving ability was like, fwoff. Okay. Big shout out to Taylor Made then. Big shout out Biggest to Taylor Biggest question Maid. though. Did you pick up a new putter that works? Um, yeah, they're going to hook me up with one of the new GT Spiders. Um, apparently, it's going to do the trick. Yeah. Apparently, I'm going to just start sinking everything. So Great. it's game over now. All right. So we're going to do a Fozcast scramble and go like eight under. Easy. Yeah, no Easy, worries. Easy, mate. Okay, right. On to the game yeah. against Man United. Yeah. So... Um, Stadium, tell us about that, fans, everything else. Um, so the stadium's called the Snapdragon Stadium right, um, yeah. in San Diego, 35,000 seat stadium, brand new, it is beautiful. Oh, is mate. it a new stadium? Brilliant, what a stadium it was. It was one of the, probably the the most impressive when you were inside. When you were inside and you look around, you go, wow, yeah, this is proper, this is, this is lovely. Um, so Manchester United, we, it was basically their 23s, their under 23s, uh, but you got some good players and you got Hannibal was playing, Johnny Evans was playing. Um, Hang on a sec, he's not 23. I know, yeah, Johnny Evans, definitely not 23. Um, so, but they've got a good team out, you know, even the Man United 23s, they are, they're top players still, yeah? They're yeah. top players. Most of them were, would have been out on loan in League 1, League 2 last season. Yeah, most of them would have been doing that. So you're coming up against a good, good set of. They're lads. the next generation of. <clears throat> they are the next generation. Um, I'd say that game in particular, the Man United game, was probably our our most impressive performance. Yeah, the lads put a shift in first and foremost, but the quality of football was was top class. Good. I actually did a I actually did a piece for Mark Goldbridge on on Zoom before the game, and he just asked me sort of basically what to expect from the game, what sort of team we 
here putting out uh, what sort of team we'd be likely to be facing in Manchester United. Um, and I just said, like, listen, we're we're a, a team of experienced players. You know, we, we've got 30-somethings in our team. We know how to play football matches and we know how to win football matches. Whereas Man United, you're talking about 21-year-olds, 22-year-olds, and they're a little bit wet behind the ears still. Obviously, they haven't had their career yet, you know. Um, so I'd say what you could probably expect is Man United would be technically better than us, for sure. But when it came down to sort of nous and know-how, game management, game management physicality, aerial ability, I'd say we'd probably dominate. And that's exactly how the game went. You know, we would, we scored our first two goals off of set pieces, balls into the box. Um, our second goal, classic, throw in, flick on at the front post, come in at the Bento's back post. Bento's a special. <clears throat> Bento's a special, head it in. And I think actually all three of our goals came from corners or yeah, crosses brilliant. or set pieces or throw-ins. And that's how it goes. Their goal, well work goal, got... Put it, stood it up to the back post, came running in, good finish. Um, but the boys were just fantastic. They were. They put in a real shift, played some real nice football. Not It wasn't just lump it long. It was we were playing. We were playing some good stuff. So that was an impressive performance for us, really. Yeah, and then unfortunately, we did have a bit of bad news because yes. Super Paul Mullin yeah. picked up an injury. Oh, we did. It was a horrible one as well. Um, I felt sorry for the goalie a little bit because he kind of got stuck in no man's land a little bit. The ball, Basically, we played a ball over the top. Paul Mullen beat his defender to it, knocked it round the defender. And as it's bouncing, Paul Mullen thinks he can just turn around and run onto the ball. The goalie has already come out at this point. So Paul didn't know the goalie is literally on top of him at this moment in time. Paul Mullen heads it past the goalie, but at the same time, the goalie just clatters into him. Right. I mean, smashes him as well. The, the the reason why Paul Mullen did so much damage and the damage he did was brutal, by the way. He, so he he he, he fractured four, uh, four of his ribs wow. and then punctured a lung. Um, the reason why he did all of that damage was because he didn't know the goalie was there. When he's headed the ball, he th he just thinks he's running into open space. But because he didn't know the goal he was there, he didn't have chance to sort of brace or set or anything. So he's fully relaxed at that moment in time. No no muscles are protecting the ribs or anything. And it was horrible because as soon as he goes down, you think, oh, that looked nasty. And then Paul Mullin, just as a player, is not the type of guy to just stay down yeah. either. He will he'll jump straight back up. He will put on a show to make yeah. sure like no I'm alright I'm absolutely you, fine you knew he was injured <clears throat> I knew he was injured straight away so yeah unfortunately for Paul he's, he's out for a little bit the, the bad news as well I think he, he might have to stay in America for 10 days because of the punctured lung he, he's not allowed to fly home with the team yeah, sure. um, but you know we wish Paul Paul, all the best. We're going to miss him for sure. Going to need him back pretty yeah, soon, we'll, we'll aren't we? Need him back. So I don't know how long he's going to be, but you know, I'd say you know something like fractured ribs. You're talking at least a month or so. Yeah. Okay. And then just we touched on it earlier, but it was a nice opportunity for you to catch up with a couple of friends. So first of all, 35 year old Johnny Evans. Yeah. I believe he's on a short term deal. Yeah. Safe to say, he still got it. Still got it, mate. He was lovely. Player, absolute player. He's he's again. I, I I'm I'm almost certain Man United will sign in the season for a season. No I'm brainer, sure of it. it. Yeah, and I don't see why they wouldn't do it. He, he's he's what Johnny Evans is. You, the goalie gives him the ball. He comes walking out with it. Parades out with it. Passes it into midfield. He's got better as he's got. He's got that ability to be able to find those passes mm. into the midfield. So then it's basically like you say, give the ball to the good ones. Yeah, and Johnny Evans is very good at giving the ball to the good ones so that they can turn and get up the pitch and. And that's what it's about. So um, I managed to get his shirt after the game for the giveaway for the Manchester United yeah, we'll vlog. We'll put a link down below <laughs> to the uh, vlog. Yeah, so if you haven't seen that vlog, go and watch it. It's a it's a really good episode, to be honest. You've got, they've got the Johnny Evans shirt. I give that away. I'm giving away a pair of gloves from the vlog. It, it's a belter. It's a no-brainer. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.